Oh, look at this, Morris! Oh, welcome to the Old Classic Car Channel, and today I am in sunny Northwich. Um, there are quite a few nice old buildings and these lovely old cast iron bridges that are still here, which is all very nice. Um, but the reason for popping over here today is to have a look at a lovely old garage building that we spotted about 20 years ago when we lived in the area. We lived a few miles away from Northwich. And I remember spotting this building back then and thinking what a great old survivor it was. And as we're passing through today, I thought I'll come and have another look. And it's just over there. Now, if like many people, you just walk around looking around at eye level, you'd have no idea that you're in the presence of a lovely old former garage building. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. But if you raise your eye line a little bit, You see this wonderful old sign for a garage, and this must have been a garage back in the 1920s and the 1930s. Fantastic stained glass up there. It's right next to a crossing, and yet I bet very few people actually notice this, because like I say, it's raised up above street level. But it's just a wonderful old survivor, and it's probably been here, what, 90 years, something like that? Noisy diesel stuff, of course, back in the day. There would have been none of this horrible diesel stuff and noisy motorbikes coming past. That's all a very recent development, but I think it's amazing that this place survives at all. I think we'll just go and stand on the opposite side of the road, then we can have a proper look at the whole structure as a whole. But isn't that just a wonderful survivor? And it's because it's up there, I think, that it survived at all. If it had been down at street level... I think it would have been vandalised or lost to redevelopment a long time ago, but fortunately it's still there. And just look at that fantastic curved glass above it. That's a real detail. So this must have been an expensive garage premises back in the day. Well, we've crossed the road now so we can have a proper look at this old garage and what a stunning building that is. Like I say, we're just in Northwich. There's no signs on there to say what the garage was originally called or what was sold from there. And it's clearly a very well looked after building, which is really cool. Cars running past all the time. But I bet how many of them have actually spotted this place? They're probably not that interested. And what a glorious old building that is. Does anyone know the history of this particular garage? If you do, Please pop a note in the comments because uh, it's always really nice to read the comments that you have and add in some background history to the stuff that gets featured on the on the channel. Well, that's a wonderful old survivor. If we have a look round the corner, I don't know if there's any buildings at the back there. We can have a quick peek around the back, I think, and just see if there's anything of interest. I think we'll just sneak around there once we can get across this road, which is pretty busy even on a Sunday morning. Let's have a little look round here. Visitor parking. I'm sure no one will mind. So probably back in one day, there was probably old signs on the, on the gable end of the building. Still got some lovely old stained glass there. This very tall wall tends to obstruct the view of the back of the building. I mean, this is a fairly early building as well on the side here. But this is the garage building itself. No clues as to what the name of the business that operated here was. Sometimes the glass gives a clue. There's nothing in this example. Let's go and have a look around the other side. I've been meaning to come back here for years, like I say, it was about 20 years ago I first spotted this place and I took some photos and added a photo to the, the old garages section on the main old classic car site probably 20 years or so back and ever since dusting down the YouTube channel I've wanted to feature this former garage 
and this was an excellent opportunity to do so, especially the weather's so nice. Let's have a quick peek over here and just see. But again, there's no real clues as to what this garage was used for. But there's an interesting add-on there, which, if that is original, then that may give a few clues as to what this place was used for. You know, maybe prior to being a car garage, it was just a general engineering shop. Who knows? But yeah, like I said, it's really nice that it's been kept in such really nice condition. And that stained glass, if that had gone, you'd never be any of the wise that this used to be a garage, but as it is, it's a great reminder of the architecture of early garages here in the UK, here in Britain. Anyway, I hope that was of interest. I just wanted to feature this little old garage on the channel and capture it on film. So, there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Please check out some of the other videos on the channel. I'll nip over here before we get... Try not to get flattened. We go back over the old cast iron bridge here. It just got a few signs on it as well, actually. So we might as well have a look at those while we're here. Castle Street. I think this is one of the old swing bridges. Let's have a quick look while we're here. So strengthening and refurbishment completed October 1998. Oh, look at this, Morris. That couldn't have been timed any better. Fantastic. There we go. Erected by the Weaver Navigation Trustees. 1899. Wonder where that Morris was going. Everyone's a comedian. Let's go and have a look at this sign. So you can see. How, the, how it rotates and swings out of the way. Let's have a quick look at this here before. Road swing bridge. The first road swing bridge on floating pontoons and the first electrically operated swing bridge in Britain, September 1989, that plaque was added. Right. I'll get off there before I get knocked over. Look at these old fences as well. It's really interesting just to have a mooch around sometimes. You know, people take these sort of things for granted. But these swing bridges are a bit of a work of art and engineering art in their own right. And over there is the garage we've just been looking at. Right, I'll go and find the other, so thanks very much for watching. Just going back to the car, and I spotted this unusual looking conversion of a Land Rover Discovery. It's quite an early one, I think. A better move. No, it's. A, I'm not sure if it's a camper or a, some sort of promotional vehicle.